Shalom, beloved, a word. I was sitting and pondering things that the spirit keeps bringing to my attention. And as I sit and meditate on the Lord and on the things that we see, we also have to keep in mind, beloved, that as we read the word, it is telling us about things that will come to pass in our day, the prophecies. And we have to interpret many of them based on what we're seeing now. He speaks to us through his word. He cleanses us from the pollution of this system through his word. By us following, honoring, praying to and praising him, recognizing from whom all our blessings come. He gives us the revelation, beloved. We're walking through a world where we're watching things change dramatically before our very eyes. We're watching hospitals and emergency rooms being shut down in record numbers. At the same time that we're watching the so-called head of the nation give billions to another nation, we're watching the media celebrate so-called billionaires. And yet these foolish people from a foolish nation do not try to maintain the structure within their own nation to keep it strong. The, the skeletal structure and support is crumbling right before their very eyes. And because of greed and arrogance, they're allowing it. The avarice is running rampant. We're watching students and schools with record number truancy like never before since this so-called school system was put in place. It has never gotten this bad. One third of the children on a normal public school day show up. One third of the school student body shows up. Emergency rooms are shut down. We're watching people have the right to just raise prices whenever they choose to. And as we watch this, we're watching prophecy unfold before our very eyes, beloved. Yah was speaking to me and guiding me through my reading as I was meditating and he makes us notice as blessed, as chosen, he will take our spirits, our mind, our eyes, and make them focus on certain things that we see. Not just in the physical, but understand the spiritual truths of what they represent. If we look in the book of Daniel, second chapter, we see where Daniel is talking to Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar has dreamed a dream and all his soothsayers and all his people, no one can interpret the dream because although Nebuchadnezzar's spirit is troubled, he cannot remember the details of the dream. But he knows the dream is profound and if it cannot be interpreted by his so-called wise men by his soothsayers and astrologers and prognosticators. He's ordering the death of everybody. He's ordering the death of all his wise men and soothsayers. He's even counted Daniel in that number, as well as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, if it can't be interpreted. But you see, Daniel makes it understood that the blessed gift of insight and prophecy and knowledge and wisdom and understanding, there's nothing special Daniel himself has done. He's saying it to the king when he comes to tell him the interpretation. He's talking to the king, but he's giving the true honor 
to whom the honor belongs. As a matter of fact, he tells King Nebuchadnezzar in the book of Daniel chapter 2 verse 30, but as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any other living, but for their sakes that shall make known the interpretation to the king that thou mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. He's not taking the honor and the glory unto himself. As a matter of fact, when we go back further, we're in chapter two, book of Daniel. Daniel's telling him, blessed be the name of God forever and ever for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the season. He removeth kings and set up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that no understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. He, let's go back, but look, Daniel is blessing the most high. When we get to the 21st verse in the second chapter, he says, Yahuwah, he changes the times and the seasons. Yes, yes, yes. Who does? Yahuwah does. But when we look in chapter 7, mm -hmm, starting at the 25th verse, he's talking about this spirit, this, this, this beast, and he shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think, here we go, to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hands until the time and times and the dividing of times. But who actually changes? When we go back and we look, at the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 21, Daniel's telling who actually changes it, Yahuwah, and he changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and set up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. But when we look in chapter 7, verse 25, and it talks about he shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand for a time until a time and times and the dividing of time. But the judgment shall sit and shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end. Yahuwah, beloved, you see, the enemy thinks to change times and laws. It appears as though it is, but it is not. He thinks, he uses trickery and rhetoric and lies. He is a deceiver, a forger of lies, a physician of no value. He is a deceiver, all right? He thinks to change times and laws. But when we look, it is Yahuwah Daniel's talking about. In chapter 2, verse 20, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of Yahuwah forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. Yes, yes, yes. What am I getting at? We are looking at times and seasons changing beloved there were times and seasons in this world where once the voice of yasharel was silenced through the voice of an enemy having the microphone all alone he could forward lies through a media machine propaganda if you will he thought to change times and laws he thought to change them. But you see, he did for a time. Yes, 
think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of times. Can you see it, beloved? Can you feel the dividing of time? Can you feel the shift? Many of us are waiting for the change. But you see, Yahuwah is the one who changes times and seasons. And can you feel the times and the seasons changing? We see how rapidly time is moving. We feel the season of our oppression coming to an end and the power of our oppressors ceasing. We see and feel the knowledge of the truth of who Yahuwah is and who we are. We have learned the truth of what faith and praise and worship is, not according to the traditions of men, not according to the Catholicism that gained riches through greed and made religion a business. No, no, no. Times and seasons are changing, beloved. We're watching the structure of the countries we live in change. We're listening to conversations about reparations from a group of people that never wanted to give us anything but oppression and death. Rape, murder, and kill, steal, and destroy that group? No. Times and seasons are changing, not according to the one who thinks to change it. No, 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 no. But according to the one, blessed be the name of Yahuwah, for wisdom and might are his. He changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and set up kings. He's removing a kingdom, beloved. We're in that stage of the iron and the clay, and they shall not cleave to one another. He had me in the book of Isaiah, but when I read in the book of Isaiah, and I'm like, Lord, I, I, I understand the message, but there seems to be more. Can't you see the times and the seasons changing? We're looking for an all at once effect, beloved. But you see, it didn't happen to us all at once. No, it didn't. It was a breakdown. We're watching a storm rolling in. There's the beginning of a storm coming in. And we can see the times and the seasons changing. And those stormy winds won't stop blowing because this wicked empire has to fall. He changes times and seasons, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. As a matter of fact, when we look into the book of Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to move around. Mm -hmm. You see, it even talks about when the people take up a proverb against the Babylonians. Yes, yes, yes. When once upon a time, Yasharel was a byword and a proverb. But you might hear about some Karens now. You're looking at times and seasons changing before your very eyes, beloved. But you, you got to see through the prophetic and bring it the real and marry them because it's right there. I'm watching the youth. One third. The number in classrooms, two thirds missing every day. Most won't even go to school more than three days a week. Times and seasons are changing. Something's going on. We're watching time speed by so fast. We wake up and got to think, what is today? What is the day's date? By the time you get used to the month, the month is gone. By the time you got used to writing out the year, the year is gone. The times and the seasons, beloved, it's speeding up. 
Mm, mm, mm. He's talking about what he's going to do to Babylon. When we even hear about the Chaldeans, once upon a time, the Chaldeans were referred to based on Catholics. We're looking at the exposures coming out and they're not ceasing, beloved. We're looking at the infrastructure coming apart at the seams and everything done for our bad. Yahuwah is turning it around for our good, no matter what it is. We were led to believe that the world had to shut down. You can't come in nor go out. You can't buy nor sell unless we tell you to. Mm. And we watched the whole world stand up and march against murder and oppression. In a year of the shutdown, the whole world stood up and marched. Don't you see the times and seasons are changing. They thought to change times and law. But it's Yahuwah who changes them, beloved. Yes, as I watch hospitals and emergency rooms closing down in record numbers, as you see these new things, patient first and uh, child first, and these, these little places you go to seek health care. I pray health on Yahuwah's beloved. Because there's an enemy, a germ warfare at hand. May Yahuwah in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach neutralize any weapon that the enemy uses against us. Any weapon formed against us shall not prosper. It shall not work. Yes, yes, yes. There was a weapon formed against the world to shut it down. Don't you remember 2020? When the whole world watched the truth of a murdering oppressor and took to the streets they were told to stay out of? Marched in unison. And the echo hasn't stopped yet. Yes, beloved. I wanted to share it because I'm watching and I'm noticing something's happening. It's not even just happening in this country. It's going on all over the world. You've got people in Africa waking up talking about, I don't want to follow Islam anymore. I don't want these names anymore because they recognize that from the eastern coast of Africa, that Arabian slave trade, pushed and forced that Islamic faith on them. Many of them don't want that European form of Christianity anymore. Knowing that the truth never even came out of Europe. It came out of the homeland. He's changing times and seasons, beloved. Most of us, when we were little, never knew for certain the truth that we know now. Why? Because of times and seasons is not just our birthdays. It's the spirit of the Lord waking us up and it's going on all over the world. These times and seasons that he changes, although they thought to change times and laws, but that was only for time and times and the dividing of times, but the times have been divided and now the lie is being divided from the truth. And no one will believe those who are known to lie, no matter how eloquently they speak, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when Yah overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. He was bringing me to read Isaiah. And then he took me into Daniel. When the king dreamed a dream about the iron and the clay, he was telling me the story when I looked at the book of Isaiah in chapter 14 and I thought about the 13th Amendment and that loophole that made the so-called freed Yazraelites in prison through a loophole in the 13th Amendment called Prison of the Lease. Because they, they got locked up for being vagrant, 
for uh, loitering. You're freed with nothing, but we're going to treat you like you should have something, knowing we gave you nothing and lock you up for it so that we can re-enslave you. Now they're talking about reparations, beloved. But you see, there's a reparation that's coming that they don't get a voice in. They won't have a voice. It's already those times and seasons that are changing, beloved. Those times and seasons. Yes, yes. And who has power over them? Yahuwah does. We read in the book of Daniel chapter 2, and it tells us he has power over the times and the seasons. They think to change times and laws, but Yahuwah has power over times and seasons. Yes, yes, yes. He changed it. So you see, we're watching it. But we need to be aware of it. He's changing their times and their seasons, beloved. When I'm in the book of Isaiah, because he's got me running between Daniel and Isaiah, and they talk about when this, this evil one falls, when I'm in the book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 17, it talks about this, this great evil that made the world as a wilderness. Yes, yes, yes. And destroyed the cities thereof, the ancient monuments they thought to destroy, that opened not the house of his prisoners. Mm, mm, mm. There's one who fits that description. Yes, beloved, yes. Mm. But Yahuwah, as we open our eyes, beloved, watch. Yahuwah, who changes the times and the seasons, okay? And before I go, before I go, beloved, let's go back and compare what seven says to what two tells the truth of. When we look in that, the book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 and he shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and law and they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of times but the judgment shall sit Yes, 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 and they shall take and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. Mm. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey Yahuwah. Yes, we are looking at change, times and seasons, beloved. You are not imagining it. It is coming to an end. All praise, glory, and honor unto the great, dreadful, holy Yahuwah, our King, our Father, our Creator, who has created all things seen and unseen, known and unknown. Blessed be his cleansing word, Yeshua HaMashiach, that gives light to the eyes of our spirit, to the eyes of our minds, and cleanses our hearts that we know the way that we should go. Blessed be his holy Ruach, Kakadesh, that anoints us in truth, and guides us where there is no darkness and no error. All praise. May Yahuwah bless and encourage his beloved. May he keep us from now and evermore as we confess our sins one to another and look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help cometh from the Lord. And beloved, read Isaiah chapter 12, and be encouraged, for he is amongst his beloved. It is a word, beloved. Shalom.